Okay, y'all. All right, so we're going to get straight into it. Today, I'm making the pepper steak with lo mein and white rice. Um, as you can see, I already had the pre-cut um, beef fajita tips or whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chop them up. And also, y'all, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe tell the below what y'all would like to see and i'll get the content out to you as soon as i can so um i'm chopping the meat in like some of them in half some of them in three quarters and putting them in the red bowl then you're gonna see um, once i put it in the bowl we're gonna add the the ingredients excuse my auntie in the background i can't i don't know if y'all can really see her or not but we was back there chit-chatting a little bit, and then she hung up on me. All right, so now we're about to get into the dry ingredients. The first ingredient that you're gonna add is going to be cornstarch. You can add two tablespoons of cornstarch. Uh, depending on what how much meat you got, you can give or take the amount of cornstarch. Um, just be mindful, you know, you put too much, it's gonna come out thick and cakey, like gravy-like, you know, and we don't want that texture. The next ingredient is going to be, I picked up the wrong measurement, but everything is going to be a tablespoon. Um, you're going to need a tablespoon of garlic, rather it be fresh or the minced. You're also going to need a tablespoon of, um, I use ginger powder, but if you like fresh ginger, the tablespoon of fresh ginger. Then you're going to need a tablespoon of black pepper. You're also going to need um, a tablespoon of black soy sauce. That's what's in my hand now. You don't have to use black soy sauce, but you know you can. Um, if you don't have it, you can use the regular soy sauce and you just add another tablespoon of the regular soy sauce. The black soy sauce is just for texture. You're also going to need one tablespoon of regular soy sauce. And then I like hot stuff. So I put the pepper flakes in mine, um, but you don't have to. You could just use the black pepper if that's what you want to do. And then last but not least, you're also going to need a tablespoon of honey. Now I used half a tablespoon. Um, I probably could have used a little bit more. I probably should have used a little bit more, but you're going to need a tablespoon of honey and not half a tablespoon as I used. Finally, y'all, I'm going to add uh, your choice of oil. I use vegetable oil because I'm going to be cooking it on high heat. Um, you're going to also need a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Also, you know, you're going to give or take, depending on how much meat you have. As you can see, like I said earlier, that you're going to need a tablespoon of honey. I added extra honey at the end. 
after you have all the ingredients in the bowl you're gonna mix it all together like i'm doing and then you're gonna place it in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes and while it's in the refrigerator we're gonna put prep i'm sorry the vegetables and um also have the rice cooking or the noodles or whatever you're gonna have go with your um pepper steak All right, y'all, so now we're about to move on to the vegetables. Um, I have two green peppers, two red peppers, and one medium onion. Now, you can have all three peppers or just one pepper. You know, you decorate it how you like. Whatever ones you like, you put in there. Um, so we're going to chop um, the vegetables up into squares, not like really large squares. I mean, if that's what you want, by all means, do it, sis. But... I didn't really want large squares. I wanted like medium to large squares. So that's what I cut up. I'm going to cut up all the vegetables and put them in the plastic bowl that's over there to the side.
And I know y'all in the comments probably like, sis is real ratchet that she put the guts of the vegetables on her countertop like that. Yes, I did. I did not feel like cutting the stuff out and then continuously walking back to the trash can. And I also didn't want to have the smell of the trash can right under me while I was cooking. So, as you will see at the end, I cleaned the counter and put all the guts on top of the cutting board and then I took it to the trash can. Okay, next we're about to make the slurry, which is the part that makes the whole thing yummy, yummy. Um, in my bowl, I have five tablespoons of water. I'm also going to add in my soy sauce, only one tablespoon of soy sauce. And then I'm going to add in the dark soy sauce, also one tablespoon. After I add the dark soy sauce, I'm going to add, um, what do you call it? The corn starch. And I think I'm going to add about three, two to three tablespoons of corn starch. And then once it's all inside the bowl, we're going to mix it up. You mix it until it's all liquefied. Um, because you don't want the cornstarch to be like cornstarchy inside the bowl. You want to mix it up so it can be like a slurry, real liquidy. And then you're going to put that to the side until you start to cook the vegetables and the meat. Okay, so in my pan, I have the vegetable oil. Um, I'm, uh, the pan I'm using is a wok. Now, if you don't have a wok, you can still make this meal. You can just cook it in your regular pan. Just make sure the pan is large enough for the vegetables and the meat. Um, as far as the meat goes, you're going to cook the meat on medium-high heat, two to three minutes, give or take, on each side. You don't want to overcook the meat. You want the meat to be tender. Be mindful that you are going to put the meat back into the wok or your pan once you put the vegetables in. So you don't want it to be like tough before you add the vegetables and the slurry.
all right so this is the last batch um it's a larger batch than the first batch yes i know all of the meat is cooked i have it put in a bowl on the side um in a bowl or a plate or whatever because we're going to use all the juices that the meat has collected also be advised the bottom of my pan is not burnt that's all the yummy juicy crusty stuff <laughs> that i'm gonna add or have on with my vegetables okay so now i'm gonna add uh, a tablespoon of garlic into the oil that i just added i'm gonna let that brown up for a little bit and then i'm gonna toss the veggies in and i like my veggies crunchy so my vegetables didn't cook for very long i just made sure that it was all you know seasoned and oiled up um had a little heat temperature to them Okay, so my vegetables have been cooking for about three minutes. Um, now I'm going to add my meat. Boom. Meat added. I'm going to mix it up, you know. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mmm. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm going to add the slurry to it. Now, I know y'all can see the bottom of my bowl. I should have mixed the bowl up a little bit. I should have mixed my slurry up a little bit more. Because it was a little cakey down there but nonetheless it still turned out really good so learn from my mistakes um we're gonna cook it a little bit more all together let the flavors all mesh together and then we're gonna set that to the side and we're gonna make um the Vietman vietnamese dip for our egg rolls so um in a cup i have um you know a one cup of water warm water then I'm gonna add five tablespoons of sugar. I'm gonna mix that up. Then I'm gonna add um, half a tablespoon of garlic. And I would prefer you have um, a whole fresh lime, but I just had lime juice, so that's gonna work for me. Um, a couple squirts of lime juice, or if you have a whole lime, you're gonna squirt the whole, half the lime, because I don't know if y'all like it tangy or sweet. So half the lime to start off. And then I'm going to shred some carrots and we're going to mix it up and then we're going to do a taste test. And it was kind of garlicky, so I just added um, some more lime juice to it. Now, I just I'm about to make the egg rolls as well. So I cut up and shredded the cabbage and the carrots for the inside of the egg roll. I usually put the noodles in it, but I didn't feel like it this time since I was only doing it for, you know, decoration purposes. Um, inside the cabbage and inside the carrots, I'm going to add onion powder, garlic powder, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Then I'm going to mix it up. Boom, boom, boom. Um, I have the egg roll wraps from Walmart. I'm going to stuff them full and we're going to wrap them up. Seal it with water and we're going to already have our oil cooking on the side while we were prepping it. And we're going to cook them two, three minutes, depending on how crispy you like yours on each side now if you have a deep fryer you can also deep fry them the process will be a lot quicker but you know i don't have that so i use my little handy dandy pot and some good oil and i just turned them over to my liking of brownness and voila they're done and here's a picture of Bay's plate 